Gaultier's Gambit, A Tale of Dark Deceit, by Bernhard T. Raven. Chapter 3, Part 4, Genevieve, La Meunier. Paris, the grand dame of cities known for its charm and romance, has its own shadowy veins, the ever-moving, unseeable, and silent undercurrents of information. In this clandestine world, news travels as fast as a falcon's swoop and as quietly as a feather's descent. Genevieve, La Meunier, being a premier player in this game, was one of the first to know she was being sought. Even before the dawn had fully wrestled the night into submission, she'd received three separate messages, scrawled on scraps of parchment and handed over by grimy street urchins who melted back into the shadows. The names mentioned in the messages gave her pause. Gautier, the infamous mercenary turned recluse, and Agilbert, the enigmatic monk of Saint-Germain-des-Prés. The mention of these two, especially Gautier, brought a rush of memories. It was intriguing that these two, from different paths, should cross hers at the same time. Suspicion and intrigue played across her mind like dancing shadows. She felt like a pawn in someone's game. But she wasn't a woman to be played easily. After a moment of contemplation, a wry smile danced on her lips, the flicker of amusement lighting her emerald eyes with a dangerous spark. Her mind hummed with intrigue, spinning a kaleidoscope of tactics and schemes. If they were on her tail, she'd turn the chase to her favor. After all, she was on a quest for the Templars, seeking the arm of Saint-Germain, and these two, Gautier and Agilbert, might just serve a purpose. Might they offer some valuable intelligence? The future remained veiled, but she was determined to strip it of its mystery. They were the flies, and she, the cunning arachnid, was ready to weave them into her shadowy web. Her grand stage, the decrepit church, a silent specter languishing on the city's edge, now a sanctuary for those who lurked in the underbelly of society. The church, with its disfigured statuary and shattered stained glass, was a poignant mirror to her own existence, once consecrated, now repurposed for a cause shrouded in twilight. Unleashing her network of street rats and silent observers, Genevieve began to weave her web of deception. She called upon Henri, a gnarled, wiry man with a perpetual smirk and eyes that had seen too many dark secrets. A rat catcher by trade, Henri's real prowess lay in his ability to slip through the underbelly of Paris, spreading whispers like a miasma of contagion. Genevieve, he croaked, his voice as jagged as his features. What mischief do you plan now? She gave him a knowing smile. Henri, I need you to find Gautier and Agilbert. Drop them a breadcrumb, the opium den of Madame Claudine. Tell them the answers they seek can be found there. Henri, seasoned in the art of deception, only gave a curt nod before disappearing into the network of alleys, carrying her message into the depths of the Parisian underworld. Next, she summoned Claudine, an opium den madam, with an extraordinary talent for gathering information. Claudine, clad in her finery and armed with a sharp mind and even sharper tongue, ran her establishment with an iron hand. Genevieve detailed her plan. Claudine, I need your help. You will have a monk and a mercenary as patrons tonight. Make them believe a woman named Genevieve has the information they need, and she would be at the old church at nightfall. Claudine, not one to question profitable ventures, agreed. Very well, Genevieve, the monk and the mercenary will be seeking you at the church. With her pawns dispatched, Genevieve then met with her band of Templar knights in a private, candle-lit chamber. The Templars, each a lethal force in their own right, stood waiting for her instructions. Huddled over a worn parchment map of the city, she traced a finger over the location of the church. Gentlemen, she commenced, her voice a serpentine caress, weaving through the quiet like the subtle rustle of silk against stone.
This evening our stage is the church. We blend with the shadows, become one with the silence, lie in wait for our distinguished guests, Gaultier and Egilbert. A pause punctuated the air, filled with a sense of gravitas as she uttered their names. She watched her men, her gaze akin to a whetstone against steel, honing their focus, sharp and deadly. Exercise utmost caution, she urged, her words dropping like veiled threats into the solemn silence. These men are fighters of formidable repute, wielders of the improbable. We must present them with an undeniable truth. They stand against odds they cannot surmount. The knights nodded, their grim faces etched with determination. The sun was setting, casting long shadows that seemed to add a sense of foreboding to their mission. As night fell, the church stood waiting in ominous silence, a predator waiting for its prey to walk into its lair. And the actors, blissfully unaware of the machinations at play, were heading toward a fate they didn't see coming. You want to know how the story develops? Subscribe now.